Hi, third and fourth grade. So I'm here with a Jason Chin book. Uh, this is the fourth Jason Chin book so far in our series of this author study. And this one he did not write. So Redwoods, R Coral Reefs, and Islands, he was the author and illustrator for. This is a book by Miranda Paul, and it's illustrated by Jason Chin. So he is only the illustrator for this book. And this book is called Water is Water. And this is in our picture book section in fiction instead of nonfiction. So that's pretty interesting too. All of his books so far have been nonfiction. And we meet two characters who look like they're fishing before we see the title page. Water is Water, a book about the water cycle by Miranda Paul. Illustrated by Jason Chin. And there's two dedications from the author and illustrator here. And we see that our two characters were caught in a downpour outside on their summer day in their bathing suits. Drip, sip, pour me a cup. Water is water, unless, and here they are drying off after being caught in the rain, filling cups, and ooh, they're giving the cups away, unless it heats up. Swirl, whirl, swirl, watch it curl by. Steam is steam, unless, so they've got steamy mugs right here, keeping them warm after they were caught in the downpour. Steam is steam unless it cools high. Look at that beautiful sky. A dragon in a wagon? A crow needing dough? Clouds are clouds unless and we see the creatures they just talked about in the in the sky there, possibly. Some really great clouds. They form low. Clouds form low. We get fog, right? Low. And we notice that there's a changing of seasons here. We've got very colorful trees. A jack-o-lantern by the mailbox and our characters brother sister are looking are looking at a snake there in their jackets so it must be autumn misty twisty where is the town the fog is fog unless i'm sure you've had those days where you've been on your way to school and you can't see very far you can't see into the town like you usually can that's what they're experiencing here unless it falls down another downpour whoa spatter a patter splatter what is that sound rain is rain unless notice how a lot of the pages so far have ended with unless kind of uh leading us into the next page wanting more rain is rain unless on the ground slush in galoshes it's not raining anymore but the rain is left behind on the ground splash to your knees puddles are puddles unless puddles freeze another season change glide slide Put on the brakes. Ice is ice, unless, then we see all sorts of kids playing on the ice here. It forms flakes. Pack, stack, shape it, and smack. Snow is snow unless, and a snowball fight breaks out between friends, unless spring comes back. And we see a pond, 
And our brother and sister are playing in their galoshes again. The sister is, has a kite way up high in the air there. Creep, seep, squish in your boots. Mud is mud unless... And it looks like a mud is getting their garden started there for a new season. There are roots. Swig, grow big. Reach for the best. Apples are apples unless... Reaching for those apples in the tree that have grown. They are pressed. Drip, sip, pour me a cup. Cider is cider. And all the friends share cider from a stand or they're pressing apples into juice. Until we drink up. Until we drink up. And the friends gather back on the dock, and some of them are about to go swimming in the water. Water is water. And the end, end pages here, we've got more information about the water cycle and how the book followed water in its many states, from falling to puddles to... Um, what else did we have? Fog and clouds and snow and flakes and mud and ponds. All those different forms of water. And some more facts about why water is so important. So this was Water is Water, written by Miranda Paul and illustrated by our author study Person of the month, Jason Chin. Thanks, Jason Chin.